Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. And Tori, last week I asked you the question, how many peanuts does it take to make a 12-ounce jar of peanut butter? And you guessed the round number of 100. 100 peanuts. Well, I am here to tell you that you are incorrect. Oh. It actually takes way more peanuts to make a 12-ounce jar of peanut butter. In fact, for peanut butter to even be considered peanut butter, it must be made with at least 90% peanuts. Yeah, did you know that? What's the other 10%? Butter? I guess oil and salt. Mm. Not better. So, uh, the National Peanut Board estimates that it <laughs> I'm takes sorry. about five... There's a National Peanut Board? A board of people concerned about peanuts? Yeah, people for the ethical treatment of peanuts. Peanut people, the peanut pack, the peanut gallery. The National Peanut Board, which is something you can aspire to being part of when you grow up, estimates that it takes about 540 peanuts to make one 12-ounce jar of peanut butter. So that's about what? 45 peanuts per ounce of peanut butter. It's a lot of peanut butter. And if your family buys those giant 40-ounce mega jars of peanut butter, you're talking 1,800 peanuts in every jar. And then multiply that by all of the hundreds of thousands of people buying peanut butter just in this country. Millions of people buying peanut butter. What am I talking about? How do we even have that many peanuts on the planet to supply everybody with the peanut butter they gotta have. Well, you know, the, the, the peanut gallery, the peanut people are growing peanuts every day. In fact, if you want to do yourself a favor, why don't you go look into how peanuts... Do, have you ever seen, like, peanuts growing? No. Do they... They grow under the ground, right? Because they're a legume? Yes. So here's the thing. Most people think that peanuts grow on trees like walnuts or pecans, but they actually grow underground. So they're planted about two inches underground, and then you they flower on top. So it looks like you might not even know you're looking. You could be around peanuts and not even know it, and then they just kind of scoop it up from the bottom and pull them out by the root like potatoes, little, oh. little peanuts. So, Mindy, anywho, you can't what? scare all these people with peanut allergies like that. Don't worry. It doesn't actually mean that you're surrounded by peanuts without knowing it all the time. That, that's true. That's true. So there you go. Do a little peanut research and become a uh, like a little peanut expert today. All right. We'll be, by the way, peanut is a fun, it's, it's the cutest, it's one of those really cute words, isn't it? Peanut. 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 Just love it. Thank <laughs> you.